Hi, I'm Alistair Tofts with Correlated Solutions and today we are at the Automotive Testing Expo in Novi, Michigan and I'm here just to kind of give you a brief overview of the big 3D digital image correlation system from Correlated Solutions. So here we have a setup, we have the 5 megapixel cameras uh, viewing an area here where we're going to measure some three-dimensional three displacements and strains. So how the system works is we have two cameras, two machine vision cameras in stereo imaging the surface of an object. That object can be uh, anything from uh, measuring materials like dark bone coupons to uh, structures to uh, airbags. It can be anything that's dynamic or quasi-static. And basically what we're going to do is measure how that surface is deforming. So in, in this example, we're showing you our real-time capabilities. Uh, first of all, the system is set up so that two cameras are imaging the same surface and they calibrate the, the system by taking images of this grid. We take about 30 images at different orientations. It's a very simple process. And then we start acquiring images during a loading sequence and then typically a post-process images to get a uh, full field strain field. But in this case, uh, we're showing you how the, we can do this in real time. You can see there's a speckle pattern applied to the surface of the sample. Uh, in this case, it was just printed. This is just an acrylic surface, so we get some easy deformation. And we have an air wedge in the middle that's going to deform it out of plane. With a uh, real-world sample, such as like a, a brake caliper like this, we apply the speckle pattern with spray paint. Uh, some other ways to apply a speckle pattern are using rollers. So with different size samples, we use different size dots, and we can just roll the, the pattern right onto the surface. And there's some other techniques involved to apply that pattern. It just needs to be high contrast, random dot pattern. Um, now you see on the monitor over here, we're displaying the, the, the strain field. Over here we have uh, the X direction strain, and over here is the Y direction strain. And we're measuring that with streaming images to computer and displaying that on the monitor. So all we're gonna do now is if I gently apply some air to the wedge, you can see it starts to deform out of plane and on the screen, we can see live strain concentration around the holes. So we see a, a tension strain in the X direction here and also a tension in the Y direction here. So this data can be used to uh, export and uh, compare with FEA. Uh, it's a great validation tool. Uh, it's a great experimental tool for research and development. And it can be used in a wide range of automotive and uh, other industry applications. Automotive applications typically are used for any type of material testing, whether it's metals and composites, polymers. Um, we can analyze uh, complex geometry samples. Um, other applications may be like uh, thermal loading, such as like a, a deformation on a heat shield. We also utilize high-speed cameras for dynamic measurements, so you can actually measure uh, body panel deformation during a crash test, uh, or uh, image the um, the cover of an airbag as it's being deployed. And then we also have a high-speed FFT module for measuring vibration uh, mode, uh, operation deflection shapes. Um, so that could be on a brake system, or again that engine manifold for um, as an engine is running, you can see the deflection shapes, and you can use that again for further. Um, material or structure um, validation. Um, that's all I have today. If you need it, like to get some more information, please go to correlatedsolutions.com or email us at sales at correlatedsolutions.com. Thank you. Have a nice day.